Okay, we are given the function f of x equals 5 to the x. And from our last example, we know we could pick some points to graph that. Well, now they say, well, what happens with transformations if you stick a negative out on front of it? Remember, if the negative is out front of the function, that's going to be a reflect about the x-axis. If the negative was up here on negative x, then that would be about the y-axis. All right, so then they ask me to actually graph this. This is a little confusing as well I'm, why I'm actually showing this. So I'm going to click to make the graph larger. And then from here, I'm going to just graph 5 to the x. So the easiest thing to do is to get the exponential tool. And I know 5 to the 0 is 1, so I just click right there, and I get my 5 to the x. Then I want to check reflect over the x-axis, so you see what happens, how it reflects. And then finally, it also says to graph the asymptote as well. This was probably the most confusing part. So click the line tool, and then click one point and one point, because the horizontal asymptote, as we can see, this function never touches the x-axis. And then it also says in here, make it a dotted line. So click there, say save, and now I can see my dashed line, I guess I say, for my asymptote and then my actual function. Then it asks for the actual equation. Well, if you're on the x-axis, that's y equals 0. And the domain, I can, I can see that even though it may not look like it since this is plummeting down, but eventually this is going all the way to the right. So in other words, I could plug in any number for the domain for x. And then the range is how low does the function go? How high does it go in the y direction? Well, as we can see, it's plummeting down to minus infinity, but it only goes up to zero and it never touches zero. Why not? Because that's an asymptote. All right, so that one was just a little confusing because of how to actually graph the asymptote. So I wanted to be sure and see if it show you the video of the steps.